Okay, so right here our preview and this light is over power, obviously, so the our back one will go and take it down to original value. Okay. Also the color they added in atmosphere. Maybe too much, so we'll go bring back to kind of bluish colder color. Just give it a bit better look this way. Um, let's also reduce slightly on glowing in the air. We'll see this will give it us a little bit higher contrast. And I want to see on that contrast what this feeling will be. Yeah, with the glowing, I think it was giving us more interesting look. But problem is we start losing some of these details with this glowing. So it's kind of need good balance between them. Okay. Let's also maybe pop up on the sky a little bit brightness. So let's saturate it. Okay, let's do maybe a little bit more right here. Okay, and also drop slightly on the haze, we'll open this back a little bit, make it lighter, so kind of a little bit more visible areas. I think we're okay on a setting, so let's preview. Notice we don't have any clouds, so but we still have some time render because all this volumetric lights. Yeah, this um, need move that terrain a little bit more far away. Okay, so let's do this way. Take move it, extend it. Something on the back and atmosphere need be a little bit more dense. So dense again we'll need to increase pop up our haze. This way we can increase without creating all this heavy darkness. Just pop up even more. Okay let's see if we bring a little bit brighter and maybe just touch warmer. Okay, let's preview. The with warmer color it's given us bring this texture a little bit better in greens, but again it it doesn't have this kind of feeling. But I do like how colors right here going. So let's um, yeah, let's go even less warmer. So yeah, we'll still have this kind of bluish effect. Another thing, so what we can try, we can try add white walk. So it's Give it us more glowing as well on the back. Less darker. Okay, let's preview this one. And you can see it's so many the composition is just trying with different lighting. And you know that I will keep it, but I like to go to one extreme, another one, see which one will give me more interesting look. Okay, this one doesn't bring that much at all. So yeah, probably darker fog will create more mystery right there on the back. Something, you know, gradients, nice going and 
hiding on the back something and plus I like how green and blue kind of going coloring there so they work very well let's preview on this one and I think I'm staying closer more towards these colors so because it's have this nice gradients and also bring to our lights um, there are spot on a side maybe we need increase a little bit more to this one so let's go click OK here we'll take spot on the side let's pop up value and see how much that will bring right here on the side again and it's kind of constantly preview going back and forward so we have a nice right here I like how the lights coming from this side but it is a little bit overpowered start losing some details here so let's take back to 60 maybe even 55 a little bit less actually Okay, next I'm gonna take this pilot guy and just to the balance here look a little bit just I don't like keep it stuff in the center so kind of a little balance it and we do have it lighter spot on our right side so I want balance kind of with the him as many character more to the left so we kind of start balancing our image you can draw those lines and see how our eyes will go point of interest Okay, so right here we have it. Nice lighting, shadows. I like the opening. Let's go right here. Darker that area. So we have the mystery with the vibrance afterwards. We can pop up those colors even brighter. I think we're ready for our final render for um, this image. Right here, this fern, maybe just move a little bit away. I'm just looking at the details. Yeah, maybe take this fur and actually move way right here. So it's one gun away. Let's open. I think it's, uh, let me see which fur it was. I think it's this one. So we'll just move more right here. Okay, let's preview again. So in this case, it's kind of, if I pick up right ones, now we have another one, this is different one. Okay, so let me go, s okay, just preview, okay, this one, yeah, we want to move. Of a way, it was a little bit destructive from um, path from the subject, so we'll start losing this line. But yeah, right here, kind of nice creating by that tree. I think it's much better placement for that fern or palm, whatever it is. Okay, I think we're ready, so let's go ahead and before we actually set, we need to do a couple of things. Uh, one, I want to leave it quality boost. We can, but it will affect only um, clouds. But just overall, I like to keep it in zero, even if it's one affected. However, right here on lighting, I want to pop up this. And this will take a little bit extra time, but I want to have this kind of nice on a fog moving effect. And also let me just look a little bit more on the shadowing if we 
yeah, it will bring a bit more highlights. Yeah, just let's go a little bit back with what was before. Okay, we'll click OK here. And list says final. Normally I do high resolution, but again, for purpose of faster render for this tutorial, I'm just keep it on final. And I'll give it um, high def res on this one. So all set, and I'm going to render. So at this point, I'm going to pause this tutorial and come back after render is completed.